At a time when the Indian Air Force has launched an inquiry into the accidental firing of the unarmed Brahmos missile inside Pakistani territory, Pakistan has now demanded a joint investigation into the incident. Indian officials have said that the range of Brahmos missiles has been enhanced to 400 km from the original 290 km, and an unarmed Brahmos practice missile was launched during a training and maintenance exercise of a missile unit from a secret satellite base of the Indian Air Force in northern India, and the trajectory and launch site shown by Pakistani military is fake, and they were unable to track the launch of the missile which clearly shows that it does not have the capability to track either the flight or the launch site, and the Chinese-built HQ-16 air defense system of Pakistan did not work against the Brahmos, and the same HQ-16 system is deployed by the Chinese military along the LAC in the northern and eastern sector. They also informed, the Brahmos missile does not have any self-destruct mechanisms like the Agni and Prithvi series of ballistic missiles. The Ministry of Defence has issued a request for information for the procurement of seven fire warning system under the Bi Indian category, that will be installed on board Kilo class submarines of the Indian Navy. The indigenously developed and built fire warning system should have different sensors such as smoke sensor, temperature sensor, proximity sensor, acoustic sensor, hotspot detection sensor and flash detector, and must be functional under marine environment and higher atmospheric pressures. It is required for an automatic early warning of the outbreak and location of developing fire, by way of an audio alarm and on a display unit, thus alerting the firefighting unit to take necessary action. The DRDO has fast-tracked the development of its indigenous manpad system, and its development work is now expected to be completed by April 2023 which will be offered to the Indian Army under the very short-range air defense program of the Indian Army. Five units have been fabricated, that will be used to start its developmental trials very soon. The Ministry of Defense has already scrapped the purchase of 5000 Igla S very short-range air defense missile systems from Russia, so that the preference is given to the DRDO developed man-portable air defense system. It will also have a helicopter-launched version, a vehicle-mounted version, and a version for naval warships. The founder and chief technology officer of the Indian startup Ajna Lens has said that the company developed Sea Armor prototype had received a grant of 1.5 crore rupees from the Defence Ministry under the IDEX initiative for further development, and informed that the project is near completion. The user test trials have finished successfully, and the final field trials are yet to conclude. He also said, that electronic systems can be hacked if connected to a network during battle, that is why the entire system is kept offline, and is accessible only to the tank's crew. The camera feed is generated and fed directly into the augmented reality headset in real time. The private sector firm MKU Limited has developed a Cavaro tactical overvest that offers level 3 plus protection and is capable of absorbing multiple hits, and also features an integrated system for carrying a 30 liters backpack, which can be quickly attached and detached from the body armor, or can be carried with shoulder straps. It features the revolutionary Instalo distribution system, which reduces the carried weight by over 30%, that will enhance mobility and agility for soldiers. It also features silver iron embedded spacer mesh fabric, with sweat management features that feel comfortable on the body, and also features patented quick release system for emergency situations.